Here we go. Middleweight division, ladies and gentlemen. Raul Curiel, who's 8-0 with six knockouts, 25 years old. He's taking on Ramses Agaton. Plenty of experience for this guy. 22, 12, and 3 with 12 knockouts. So it's Southpaw versus Southpaw. Agaton in the gold, Curiel in the black and red. Scheduled for eight rounds, middle uh, welterweight division, excuse me. Oh, I, like that. I like those jabs by Agaton right there. Backing up, Curiel. Curiel's a nice uh, counter puncher. You let him step back and, and counter you, he's, he's, in a, he's bound to catch you something big. Pushing him back is the way to go. That's exactly what I want to see from Agaton. And let me correct myself, this was supposed to be a welterweight fight, but after some trouble for Agaton making weight, they moved it to middleweight. So that's where we are, is that right hand grazes off the temple of Agaton. That was a left hook that grazed off the temple, and that shook up Agaton. Those knees buckled. Agaton doesn't want to let Curiel get too comfortable. Not fight behind the jab. Don't let him pick you apart from distance. Keep backing him up. Curiel with some impressive amateur wins, including victories over Lamont Roach, Ted Cheeseman, Carlos Adames. Oh, and the body shot sends him down. What a beautiful body shot by Curiel. Oh, going no. backwards, stepping Single. back to land that Saves. left hook to Save the liver. It. You can see the frustration oh, from Agaton. He wants to bring war. Here's his opportunity. Box. He is a wounded animal now. Can the Cougar put him out of his misery? We asked Curiel, what you, what's your prediction? He said, Galincho al hígado. That's exactly what happened there. Hook to the liver. Stop, 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 stop. Para, para. Ponte para atrás. You can see Agaton dropping those arms now. That's what body shots do. They make you drop those arms, and you don't really care about the head shots anymore because the body shots hurt stop, more. Stop. Really? Like a, like a, Absolutely. A, 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 as hard as I can Look. punch you in the jaws is worse than as hard as I can punch you in the stomach. If you know how to punch and where to punch, Todd. Maybe I should change that to if I slapped you in the face. <laughs> or slapped you. <laughs> and as you can see, Curiel's back, Agaton back again. That right hand continues to drop down, protecting his frame. I'm sure you know about getting stop. slapped. Stop. Sometimes you can slap with the jab too with you know backhands. You know, you don't you don't always want to throw a hard punch. Sometimes you slap with that jab. You annoy opponent, opponents like that. Curiel said he never stopped training during the pandemic, even when he couldn't be in wildcard gym with Freddie Roach. He knew the opportunity would come, and here it is, the first big boxing date of 2021. Live from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. A great opening round for the Cougar, who scored a knockdown against Ramses Agaton, and he's good. battering it to the bell. Not falling off balance. Just great foundation by Curiel. Everything's Damn. hard, not falling off balance. Como lo sientes si pega muy duro, hermano, si. No. Juegalo, juegalo, juegalo. La cubeta azul. Ah. There it was, Sergio. Liver shot. Oh my God, that brings back memories. I'm telling you, those shots right there. And you could see how disappointed Agaton is, but those shots right there, when they land pinpoint like that, you're, you're just forced to go down. You have no choice, your legs won't obey. And he's a southpaw, but he's been fighting out of the orthodox stance, which allows him to throw a left hook to the lip. And also, you're, you're not comfortable protecting and defending from that side if you're not a, 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 a southpaw, a natural southpaw. That's the thing about switching, Todd. If you're not if you're not comfortable oh. fighting from that left-handed stance, you should just do it periodically. You don't want to stay there too long because defensively you're going to be vulnerable. Scheduled for eight rounds, but at this pace we may not even see the third. Stop! 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 Ramses Agaton, last-minute replacement, 30 years old, coming up from Mexico, and it looks like Agaton's right eye is also shutting. So the body's. Banged up, the eyes closing, and we've only been fighting three and a half minutes. Stop! Stop, 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 stop. Books. 
And this is what happens when you're a late replacement, only a week to train for a prospect like Curiel. Right. You know, you got to give a lot of credit to Agathon and what he's doing in there and what he's absorbing. Yeah, he can barely open the right eye. Almost looked like it had been poked. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. see this fight going much longer. Yeah. Curiel's having his way. It's just a matter of time, it looks like, before the referee just stops this. And when you get a guy in trouble, Sergio, what do you do? You just keep throwing and there's a towel. The towel had to come in because the referee wasn't stopping it. So Raul, the Cougar, Curiel now 9-0 with his seventh knockout. Easy work here in the Big D. Well, luckily, we're not in Las Vegas and have to go to the videotape to see if it was a jab that <laughs> poked him in the eye. Remember that debacle? No. Which one? Well, we'll just what stay fight? away from it. I mean, they are wearing thumbless gloves, I believe. I mean, those thumbs in the eye usually don't occur that much. Uh, that, I'm pretty sure that was a punch. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you very much, huh? Good. Slipping my mind, it was the Australian fighter, top-ranked show, Las Vegas. The eye was swollen. They thought it was an accidental headbutt, but it looked like a jab right oh, into the eyeball. Yes, they yes, watched yes. tape for 45 minutes. <laughs> Joe <laughs> Tessitore, Let's not bring that up. Joe Tessitore is reading verses out of the Bible right. to kill time. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, this is done and done. Round two, Raul Curiel with the victory over Rancis Agaton. Did we learn anything about the Cougar today? Mahoney, that's what it was. Yes. So I'll ask you the question again, since she just completely ignored me. Did we learn anything today I'm not about the, only the Cougar? One, I'm not the only one that ignores you, but yeah, we, we look, we learned that he could punch and miss and keep his foundation, which is great, because when you're punching that hard and you're falling off balance, which is what you, what you, what you do when you're a young power puncher, he's not falling off balance, and he's throwing you know, uppercuts and left hooks, right uppercuts, every, every punch in the book, and going downstairs, but when he misses, he's not falling off balance, which is uh, impressive. This is what I mean. Look, everything is with a lot of power coming from right hooks and left uppercuts. Digging down upstairs and downstairs, but notice how he's keeping his balance. That's what I was impressed with with Curiel. Following him, backing up, not falling off balance. Well, credit to Agaton who said this would be a war. It was a one-sided war, and he looked like he got in a big battle. Look at the right side of his face. The eye completely closed. Good decision for his corner to throw in the towel. And let's send it now back into the ring. And Jeremiah Gallegos, who makes it official. Steps in and puts a halt to this contest. The official time comes to you, 116 in round number two. For your winner by TKO, and still undefeated, representando Tampico, Tamaulipas, Mexico, Raul Cu.